Hello all my OneNote fans. If you guys are using the iPad, today you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to what I'm about to show you. For so many years, I've been so frustrated with OneNote and the fact that I am not able to do side-by-side -side note taking. Now, there's many applications like GoodNotes and such where you can have two notebooks open side-by-side. -side. And for so many years, I've struggled with using a PDF annotation app like GoodNotes to do side-by-side -side note taking, but I've been gravitated towards OneNote and the binder-like system that it is, but I'm frustrated and have been frustrated for so long on using OneNote on an iPad side-by-side. -side. Today, guys, I'm gonna show you a solution that I've been using for a few days, and wow, it is awesome. So a few years ago, Apple introduced the ability to have side-by-side -side apps open. This was huge. If you had your email open and a note-taking app, you could easily go through your email and you could take notes on your note-taking apps and just have that side-by-side -side experience. No different than if you'd have dual computer screens at your work center. It just makes you a lot more productive and it just seems like you can go ahead and navigate through your email, through your notes a lot faster. Well, one of the things that was really cool about this is for digital planners and note takers, you could have your calendar open on one side and your planner open on the other and you can go ahead and you can make those notations like we showed you in the past on other videos. But you haven't been able to do side by side note taking. So example, I am someone that believes that each and every week I look at my weekly review and I look at my plans in front of you and then I start making notations throughout the week when I wanna schedule my big three or the things that matter most to me. And I find by using the iPad, I was constantly having to go back and forth in the navigation of OneNote and it just felt, it's, I struggled with it, I just struggled with it. And over the weekend, I was thinking to myself, you know, it's the 21st century, I'm really excited for what's coming in 2022, that I have some big visions, some big ideas, and I wanna be able to start plotting out in the year when I'm gonna do those things. But I wanna have my vision board constantly in front of me and be able to go through the quarters respectively and enter in those notations as I so wish. And I got to thinking to myself, well, I could have two iPads open side by side, but for the average person, that's not possible. So I found a way using Google Chrome that I'm able to have my notebooks open online, navigate through them, and then have my application open on my iPad and really have a side-by-side -side experience. It's not perfect, but for what I'm looking to do and for what a lot of us are looking to do, being able to have multiple pages in the same notebook open and being able to copy and just read through our notes and redictate them or journal them in different spots, this is ideal. So let's show you how to do this. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you have Google Chrome installed on your iPad as well as obviously OneNote. And I find that if you open up Google Chrome and you go to OneNote.com, you can log in to the account that you have your notebook syncing with. And from here, it's gonna open up kind of like a drive style folder. Now, what's so important is that you need to click with your pencil or your finger as if you were right clicking, so tap and hold, and you're gonna see the option to open in a new window or a new tab. You're gonna to wanna to do that. If you just simply click on it, it's gonna go ahead and open up OneDrive on your iPad and take you to that folder where you have your notebook stored. And then ultimately it's gonna open that notebook up on the application. And that's gonna basically kill what we're trying to do. So click and hold on the notebook that you want to open and choose open a new tab. And it's gonna open up in another tab inside Google Chrome that you then can start to navigate through. And here you can see that you have your all your navigation options that you can choose. And from here then, let's go ahead and the side-by-side -side mode. With the latest update to iOS 15, you can click on the top of your screen, choose the app that you want to choose. In this case, it's OneNote. And you're gonna see now that we beautifully have OneNote on the right side of our screen, and we have the ability to see our notebook on the left side of our screen through Google Chrome. Now you can go ahead and you can start making annotations and notes on your calendar. You can see in real time, it's going to sync uh, to the cloud file and you can see it. So that to me was really exciting being able to see how quick that was and how fast I can make notations. I can go ahead and do all the same things, copy and paste. I can go ahead on the Google Drive side of things and I can even use the lasso tool 
and select text and then move that text and within a matter of a few seconds it'll sync back to my application on my iPad. So it really is a way to get around that side-by-side -side experience and for me it's awesome. So as I jump into other pages I can have my review pages open, I can have my vision board open and I can really do side-by-side -side notations. So this is something that uh, I'm going to be using probably almost daily moving forward. Uh, and what's cool about this is when you close uh, your application or go back to your home screen, you can easily pop up your app tray and again, see that that's there that you can click into and get back to that split screen view. So guys, if you found this interesting, please share it with a friend. Hit that like button so we can share it to the audience, the greater audience out there. And if you guys aren't already, please follow us. Hit the subscribe button. We open up the world to technology and daily planning and note taking. And we want to share those experiences with you as someone that's been a long time uh, Franklin Covey user and now having our own key to success planner. It's been a thrill to be able to share this new call to hack with you. And if you guys haven't already, check out uh, in the description our website. We create digital planners for individuals, professionals, and business executives that really help inspire you and help you reach those goals that you guys are aiming for. I'm Brandon Bonerver, creator and founder of the Key to Success Planner, and I look forward to seeing you guys real soon. God bless each and every one of you.